So ladies and gentlemen, we, lived in a, we live in a universe where Taxi Driver, the great uh, movie starring the excellent uh, thespian Robert De Niro, he wasn't the first choice for that movie. And you're saying to yourself, Jeffrey, are you lying to me? Jeffrey, you're stretching the truth. No, well, uh, I'm not. Who do you think was considered for the part before him? Think back to a playwright, very strong character actor, a very intelligent and handsome man. Of course, we're going to be talking about the playwright, Jason Miller. Now, Jason Miller, born John Anthony Miller, April 22, 1939, was an American playwright and actor, and he probably had the biggest, uh, what he called, staggered season in entertainment history. Now, a native of New York City, between 72 and 73, or 72 and 73, he won the 1973 Pulitzer Prize for Drama and the Tony Award for Best Play for his uh, onstage uh, classic, That Championship Season. And he was also nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and was robbed for his performance as Father Damien Karras in the 73 horror film The Exorcist, a role he reprised in Exorcist 3. He later became artistic director of the Scranton Public Theater in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where that championship season was set. <coughs> now, born in Queens, New York City, to Mary Claire Nee Collins, a teacher, and John Anthony Miller, senior electrician, his ancestry was primarily Irish Catholic, with some German. When his family moved to Scranton in 41, Miller was educated at St. Patrick's High School and the Jesuit-run University of Scranton, where he received a degree in English and philosophy. He then attended the Catholic University of America in Washington as a graduate student in the speech and drama department. Although AP later reported upon his passing that he earned a master's degree there, Miller had claimed he was asked to leave the school before taking a degree for never attending classes, never taking tests, and never getting the girls back to her dorm by 10 o'clock. During his period, he taught drama and English at nearby Archbishop Bishop Carroll High School in Washington. Now, he, uh, he had uh, worked on different plays and different events, by, but his big attraction came in 72 by winning the Pulitzer for his play that championship season, which also won the 93 Tony Award for Best Play. The original Broadway cast featured Charles Durning, Richard Dysart, and Paul Servino. That same year, he was offered a role of the troubled priest, father Damien Karras, in William Friedkin's horror film The Exorcist, which he was nominated for an Academy Award. Now, after his nomination, a lot of people predicted big things, and he was offered the lead role by Scorsese in Taxi Driver, but turned it down to do Robert Mulligan's The Nickel Ride. In 82, Miller eventually directed the screen version of that championship season, featuring the cast were Robert Mitchum, replacing William Holden, who died before filming began, Paul Servino, Martin Sheen, Stacy Keach, and Bruce Dern. His own uh, film career was sporadic, as he preferred to work in regional theater. He did star as Henry Drummond opposite Malachi McCourt as Matthew Brady in a Philly production of Inherit to Wind. Now, Miller, or Miller worked as artistic director with the Scranton Public Theater. With SBT, he directed and starred in various productions, including Blight Spirit, Harvey, California Suite, Crimes of the Heart, and The Lion in Winter. He acted occasionally in feature films, including The Devil's Advocate, the original in 77, The Dane Curse, uh, 1978, The Ninth Configuration, 1980, Toy Soldiers, the original in 84, The Exorcist Tree, and of course, as the vaunted Notre Dame head coach, Eric Parsegian and Rudy, which allowed him to be seen by another more than tens of millions of people because Rudy is such a hit on uh, video, uh, on TV, and uh, you know, that's a go-to movie for all the Notre Dame faithful. Now, in 98, he eventually toured the country in his one-win play, Bear Moore's Ghost, ending the tour with a four-month run off Broadway. In October 2000, he performed Bear Moore's Ghost in a successful and critically acclaimed production directed by Michael Leland at the Theatre Double Main stage uh, in Philadelphia. Miller's last project was a 2001 revival of The Odd Couple for the Pennsylvania Summer Theatre Festival, in which he was to appear in the role of Oscar Madison, but he died of a heart attack before the production opened. Now, Miller's connection to Hollywood is also quite strong because of his family. He's the father of actress Jason Patrick by first wife Linda Gleason, who was the daughter of Jackie Gleason, and Joshua John Miller, uh, a child by second wife Susan Bernard. As of... Uh, he is, a, like I said, a longtime resident of Naponson, Queens in New York. Now, in 82, 
Again, he had returned to Scranton to become the artistic director of Scranton Public Theater, which was founded the year before. Unfortunately, he died of a heart attack in, on May 13, 2001, in his hometown of Scranton. Now, in 2004, actor Paul Trevino, a long, longtime friend of Miller and a cast member of all three versions of that championship season, which we'll go over in a second, was commissioned by Scranton to create a bronze bust of the late playwright and actor. The statue was unveiled in 2008. Now, in March 2011, the first Broadway revival of that championship season opened. The cast comprised of was comprised of Brian Cox, Kiefer Sutherland, who had start with uh, starred with Patrick in The Lost Boys, Jim Gaffigan, and of course Jason Patrick. The urn containing Miller's ashes was placed on the set by Patrick, and uh, who played the role Miller had based on himself. Now, for those who don't know the plot of that, that championship season, we'll go over it very quickly. It's um, it deals with a, a setting in Scranton in 1972. On the 20th anniversary of their victory in the Pennsylvania State Championship game, four members of the starting lineup of a Catholic high school basketball team have gathered to celebrate. This reunion may be the last chance to reminisce with each other due to their coach's illness. The fifth member of the starting lineup, Martin, who made the game-winning shot, has refused to attend the reunion because he bears a grudge against the coach for reasons that do not become clear until late in the play. Now, it's, it's quite interesting how the, uh, the play and movie and the production is put together. It's considered uh, what they call one of the, the best male-centered classics of the early 70s, comparable with Bang the Drunk Slowly, Brian Song talking about how sport and how the male uh, ego can cross over, sometimes in good ways and sometimes in bad ways. Now, it did open on Broadway at the Booth Theater uh, in 72, running for 700 performances. It did close on April 21, 74. The production won the 73 New York Drama Critics Circle, Drama Desk, and Tony Award for Best Play. Again, this production starred uh, Richard Dysart, Charles Durning, Paul Servino, and Michael, Michael McGuire. It, uh, again, it had a short-lived off revival in 1999, directed by Scott Ellis. And uh, the Broadway revival, the second one, 2011 at the Bernard B. Jacobs uh, Theater ran from May 6th to May 29th, 2011. Now Brian Cox had to lead as the coach. Uh, Chris Noth was in it as well, uh, and Tom Daly. Uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, Jason Patrick, of course, playing Tom Daly, and Kiefer Sutherland playing James Daly. Now, uh, the uh, at the time of the premiere, that championship season was a critical success. Those who liked the play complimented its humor, dialogue, and characters. Reviewing the Broadway production, Clyde Barnes in the New York Times wrote, Mr. Miller has a perfect ear and instinct for the rough-and-tumble profanity of locker room humor. The coarsely elegant jibes go along with Mr. Miller's indictment of society, which opens with an iconic uh, playing in a national anthem, and then lacerates the sickness of small-town America full of bigotry, double-dealing, racism, and hate. So, uh, Jason Miller, my God, what a... What an actor, what a writer, what a performer, uh, what, a, what a developer. And uh, Jason will never fade from memory because his performance in The Exorcist was beyond scary. Not because he was a bad character, because he channeled the fact that most people are scared of the devil. And he was scared of the devil, even though he played a priest with a lot of strength. It was pretty rough. And our uh, Persegian and, uh, and Rudy, he played... Uh, and I thought he was going to get a Best Supporting Actor nomination for that, but maybe he didn't, uh, you know, uh, call enough minutes. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing with our remote control screenshots crossover, let us know what a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And we like to tell you that if you have requests, they're always considered and always highly, highly appreciated. Thanks for listening. Bye.